guys, this is Katie German. Um, I wanted to share with you today how to bring in uh, digital cut files that you downloaded online into Silhouette Studio. Um, so let's get started. Um, depending on where you downloaded them, um, and again, th these are not from a Silhouette Design Store. These are from like Etsy or um, other online little shops where people sell their own designs. Um, depending on where you get it, um, the majority of the time it will be a zipped folder. So you just locate that. Mine's just on my desktop here. We're going to double click. It's going to extract those files. Um, and then we have these files here. Depending on who designed um, the design and where you're getting it from, you might not have all of these files. This, this design includes a DXF, um, which works with Silhouette Studio um, the free, the basic edition, an EPS, which works for um, digital scrapbooking, so used in Photoshop and Illustrator, and an SVG, which, which works with the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Um, so I'm going to show you the pros and cons with each of them and kind of go through how, um, how to bring them into Studio. So let's get started. I've got Studio open here, and as you can see, I have the Designer Edition. Um, I highly recommend getting the Designer Edition. Um, there's a lot more options and things that you can do. You can bring in SVGs, which a lot of designers will, um, will save the designs primarily in SVGs. Not a lot of them save in DXF. Um, and uh, SVGs, I'll show you, but they're, they're grouped. There's just a lot more con um, pros. To SVGs over DXF and the free edition of Silhouette Studio. Um, so yeah, let's bring them in. Let's say that I'm on the basic version right now, the free version. We're going to go to File, Open, and bring in this DXF file. I don't know who figured this out, but it's pretty cool that you can bring these versions in. Um, so yeah, so here is our shape. As you can see, Everything's kind of ungrouped. Um, the lines are blue as opposed to red. Um, and we're going to have to do some tweaking before we can cut this file out. Um, but it is doable. So everything's ungrouped. So the first thing we're going to do is group things, um, group every shape together. We're going to go down and click on group, or you can click on com uh, Command G, which is what I like to do because it's quick. So we got these grouped. Um, now you can move these shapes off of the artboard and just have this guy on here. We could resize, do whatever. Um, in order to cut this out, we're going to go up to Cut Settings up here in the top right. And then we're going to click on Cut, choose your material type, and you're good to go. So there's not too many more steps, but uh, yeah, but it's totally doable. Pretty cool. So that's the DXF version. Um, now let's open the SVG. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's kind of the same thing. File open, locate it wherever it is on your computer, and click OK and bring it in. So this is the SVG that you can open with Designer Edition. Um, everything's grouped together, so we're going to ungroup it back once. And then we have all of these cut files. Again, we can move these off the off the work, what, I don't know what they call it. The I just call it either the artboard or the 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 mat. Can resize, do whatever, uh, click cut, and it'll do the exact same thing. It's just like one less step that you have to do. And uh, let me show you another way to get this into the library of um, Silhouette Studio. This is super cool. Let me show you. So over here you have the drawing area, um, the library, and how to get to the design store. We're going to click on library. Um, and as you can see, there's a my own designs folder. We're going to click on that and have this open. Um, we're going to grab the SVG and drag it in. And see, it brings this up into my own designs. Let's click back on the artboard thing. Um, Let's do, I'm going to do a new one so I can show you this. So now we have this in my own designs folder. 
inside of Silhouette Studio. So instead of dragging in the SVG every time, you can just have it in your uh, have it in your library. We're gonna double click this, and it brings it right in. And again, if you wanted to only cut one of these um, words or one of the lettering or phrases, whatever, you're gonna have to ungroup it. But easy peasy. And so whenever you need that shape, you just go back into your library and you find it there. Super cool. Um, so yeah, that's Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Um, and again, um, with the EPS, that is for digital scrapbooking. Um, so I won't go into that. But um, it's really cool if you have the free version, you can use the DXF. You have to do a little bit of tweaking, but it still works. SVG, you throw it right in and you can cut. Um, and you can also put it into your library. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any specific questions, feel free to let me know and I can try and help you out. Um, but thanks for watching.